Cardiovascular disease is the number one killer. There are many other diseases that all tie into cardiovascular disease, like obesity, insulin resistance, diabetes, a poor diet. We today are going to make changes, not only for our health, but for our family and our friends so we can take better care of ourselves. I am going to share with you one simple mineral. It's called magnesium, but don't go anywhere. I want to prove to you and show you, which I will attach studies below in the description, so you can get a better idea how important this one mineral is so your cardiovascular system can function better. And our focus is on the inside of our artery, the intima. That's where clogging occurs. That's where inflammation occurs. And in the inside of those arteries there are many different chemical changes that take place. There's nitric oxides, which are gases that can help vasodilate and enlarge those arteries, meaning that we can take pressure off the heart. And it's extremely important that you understand what atherosclerosis is. This is the condition that's affecting millions and millions of people worldwide. And this condition begins when damage occurs to the inner layer of the artery wall. And it's caused by a buildup of plaque that's made up of deposits of fatty substances, cholesterol, cellular waste products, calcium, and fibrin. As this plaque continues to build up in the arteries, the artery walls becomes thickened and stiff. And if the blood supply is going to your heart, it's not getting enough oxygen. And that's what causes a heart attack. And if it's not going to your brain, that's what we call a stroke. And why is magnesium so important? Because it's involved in over 300 biochemical reactions in the body. It helps maintain normal nerve and muscle function. It supports a healthy immune system. It keeps the heartbeat steady. It helps bones remain strong. It helps regulate blood glucose levels and aids in the production of energy and protein to just name a few. And your heart cannot function without magnesium because magnesium and calcium work hand in hand. But when we have a deficiency of magnesium, that's when calcium starts to have a field day in those arteries. Normal doses of magnesium or higher levels are shown to lower calcium placking that goes on within the inner part of our arteries. And magnesium protects your heart. Your heart cannot function correctly without magnesium. Magnesium prevents muscle spasms of the heart blood vessels. And low magnesium levels can raise blood pressure. Now, how do we get these low magnesium levels? Many ways. We don't know the quality of the soil where our food is coming from. And what about the foods that are being processed and refined? We're losing more magnesium. And even many medications like diuretics and certain high blood pressure medications can deplete magnesium, as well as stress. And magnesium has a direct relationship with our stress hormones. It helps balance them out. It relaxes you. It helps anxiety. It can help put you to sleep and let you sleep like a baby through the night. And studies show that insufficient magnesium in the body means the enzymes required for proper metabolism function poorly or not at all. And many of these enzyme systems serve essential purposes in heart muscle and blood vessels. And when they become impaired, the risk of cardiovascular diseases rises. And the studies specifically show that the lower the dietary intake of magnesium, the higher the levels of chronic low-grade inflammation, as well as endothelial dysfunction. And things have changed tremendously today because in the past, cholesterol seemed to be the big issue. But today it's inflammation and magnesium really makes a tremendous difference in those endothelial cells in the inside of the inner lumen of your vessels that can prevent and offset that chronic inflammation that's causing atherosclerosis. And magnesium is abundant in green leafy vegetables, cereals, nuts and legumes, chocolate products, fruits, meat and fish contain moderate amounts and dairy products are low. So how much magnesium a day should we be getting? Men, approximately 420 milligrams. Women, 320 milligrams. But if you are getting it from foods, you may want to get a little bit more to be safe. 
supplementation, magnesium glycinates, magnesium citrates, they assimilate well. Be careful with a lot of other magnesiums because that can give you lots of cramping. So here's the bottom line. Make sure you're eating healthy magnesium foods because there is a direct correlation between low magnesium and cardiovascular disease. When it comes to the vessels, when it comes to blood supply, we need that oxygen. That's what allows us to stay healthy, happy, so we can live a long life. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share it with your friends and family. Leave your comments below. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.